What's going on guys, it's your boy The Boxing Lowdown and I'm back here with another video now. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Feel free to drop a comment if you like and I'll happily get back to you now. Uh, Jake Paul was in action over the weekend. He defeated Tyron Woodley with a fantastic one-punch knockout. I have to say, um, I didn't actually watch the fight live, but I did catch the highlights the next day. They were all over social media the next day. And it left me thinking, man, um, there was other fights that took place over the weekend. Chisora and Parker, so to speak. But the main like fight that I saw online that was spoken about was Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley. Now, it's just got me asking this question for this video here. It won't be a long one, but is Jake Paul, in terms of America, in terms of boxing, you know, superstars over there, because I guess you're going to have to call him a boxing star. You know what I mean? Um, where does he rank? Is he, the, is he the most popular American attraction out there right now, outside of the heavyweight? I mean, even like uh, the heavyweights. I mean, Jake Paul is drawing numbers. He's drawing numbers. He's getting the one-punch KOs. In terms of ability, he's nowhere near the rest of these guys that have potential superstar ability. Somebody like a Tank Davis who does draw a lot of crowds. Um, he didn't do very good numbers in his last fight though, so to speak. But Tank is a big draw in the US. Uh, Deontay Wilder is a draw in the US. But outside of, I mean, how many other draws are there in terms of American-based fighters? Would we'll be interesting to see what you guys think about that. Errol Spence is a draw, for sure. Uh, he's, a, he's definitely a big draw in the US. Crawford is not as much of a draw, probably not as much as he should be. Is Jake Paul the biggest star in the US, boxing-wise? Um, it's, it's a very interesting question, man. The fact that this guy uh, doesn't have anywhere near the ability of those guys that I mentioned, but, you know, just a YouTuber. I guess he's, he's not really a YouTuber anymore, but he, he was a YouTuber and um, got into the boxing game late and, you know, he's, he's doing all this for himself. It's crazy, do you know what I mean? And uh, like I said, on social media the next day, it was all Jake Paul, you know, the knockout of Tyron Woodley, everybody was talking about it. So this guy could be the biggest star in US boxing right now. You know, we've got a lot of potential guys out there like Ryan Garcia, who could be if he really did actually get his act together. Um, there are other guys off the top of my head that I could be mentioning as well. But in terms of the US and, you know, some of the superstars that they have potentially, the Shakur Stevensons, the Tiafimo Lopez's and all of those guys, um, Jake Paul is the one that's really creating headlines, man. And uh, is this a good thing or a bad thing for this boy? I, I do have to ask. But let me know what you guys think about it, man. Jake Paul, a stunning one-punch KO over Tyron Woodley. Uh, the fight, from what I saw, didn't look much up until that point. But the knockout was pretty brutal. Tyron Woodley became a meme on um, the day after. And, you know, I don't really agree too much of all the... I mean, it's okay to, to, you know, have a little laugh here and there. But, you know, I, I think that they were going over the top with it, with Tyron Woodley there, man. Uh, imagine how he must be feeling the next day, seeing his face plastered all over everywhere, him lying on the floor like that. But it just comes with the game, man. It's social media nowadays. That is just how boxing is. But uh, your thoughts on the fight? Jake Paul, what does he do next? Uh, probably not going to fight Tommy Fury, man. Tommy Fury, really, I don't know. He just, yeah, he missed out on a payday there because I don't know if they're going to actually fight now, them two guys. But he's going to hope that he does fight Jake Paul and, you know, have that sort of recognition out there in the States for sure. But let me know your thoughts on it all in the comments section below, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video.